Good morning, everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about the way in which cell phones have revolutionized the way that we communicate with each other. Now, since we're all Penn State students in this room, I'm sure everyone here is familiar with that moment of frustration when text messages just refuse to send in Beaver Stadium. Equally, I'm sure everyone knows that feeling of joy when they actually do send. It's a good moment. We like to text our friends, and we like to do it fast. But how did we get to this point? Well, cell phone technology was developed in the early 1930s. It wasn't made public, however, until the late 1970s and early 1980s. And so, since the 1980s, the number of cell phone subscribers has skyrocketed. In 1987, there were one million cell phone subscribers worldwide. Today, in 2012, there are six billion cell phone subscribers in a world of seven billion people. That's a lot of phones. So what have these phones done for us? Since the development of this cell phone technology, communication has become a constant in our lives. It's fast and it's mobile, which means that we don't have to stay at a desk or in our house to call someone or text them, because we can do that whenever we want, wherever we are, as long as there's cell service. With this new advancement in technology, there have been new societal rules that have developed. For instance, it's really important to know that when you're in a movie theater, you probably should not be calling or texting anyone unless you really want to irritate the people around you. Similarly, it's probably not a good idea to text while you're in class unless you want to get your phone confiscated. These are rules that are really important to know in order to properly function in today's society without being considered rude. As cell phone technology has further developed, they've given us the smartphone which has made communication even more constant and faster than ever before. We have now unlimited access to the internet, which means that we have virtually unlimited access to ma magic tools of communication, such as Twitter, Facebook, Skype, any other media that you can think of, including email, as well as texting and calling with the touch of a button on a screen. These tools have made it so easy for us to communicate and keep in touch with friends and family that we might not get to see all the time, which is awesome. It's also given us the ability to keep up with the world around us as things change day to day, minute by minute, second by second. However, these cell phones, these smartphones, have caused some negative consequences, what consequences as well. We have now an issue where we cannot disconnect ourselves. We feel the need to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we just can't shut it off. I know I have a problem with that. And also, because of this, in-person communication has become secondary to cell phone communication. You might notice this when you're walking down the street with your friend and you're telling a story and you're getting all excited about it, and all of a sudden, right when you're about to get to the climax, your friend does I'm sorry, what were you talking about? Thank you.